but you are designing this. Okay, so, and I'm going to, it, it's a wheel, so I'm going to probably rotate the paper a little bit just to kind of get to what we're doing. Okay, so if I'm going decimal 2%, uh, I don't know if you see in here, I'm going to highlight it. It says right here, if you have a decimal, times 100. That's key. All you have to do is multiply the decimal by 100. Okay? Or somebody knows, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to give you the key information to each one. So, you, some of you know 100 has two zeros, so you can move the decimal two times to the right. So, you can show that this would be 48%. Okay? So, I can either move it two times to the right or times the decimal by 100. So, like, literally on the calculator, just put the decimal in the calculator and multiply by 100. And that gives you the percent. So, percent... When we're converting, because this one was clear that out. Here we have 0 0.08, and if I times it by 100, we get 8% as our answer. Why is this so small? See that? Ah, that makes it better. Okay, there we go. 8%. I might have to go up a little bit. All right, so what I want you to add, yes, we want the answers here, 8%. This should be 256%, okay? So just some key information, things to remember, okay? You're either doing times 100 or move decimal. Two places. I'm running out of room, sorry. To the right. Two places to the right. And I ran out of room. So, like, when you design, I know some people were doing, like, I had some, I know y'all don't have this tool, but, like, some people were, like, doing each letter, maybe, like, a different color or something. Or you can highlight one word, one color. Okay, this is your design. And then maybe maybe you wanted to do this a different color. Okay. So you're designing this. You do get a your design is part of your grade. Um, yeah, your design is part of your grade. I'm going to go in a circle. Yeah, I'm going to go in a circle. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to... I need to... Uh, no, I was going to let me do it. I'll have to do it this way. Okay, so percent to a decimal... It says right here, divide by 100. So you can just take the percent that they gave you, 97, divide it by 100, and it will give you your decimal. So that's one way. Or, let me get my pen. You, the decimal of a whole number is always at the end of the last digit. So if I'm going from... De percent to decimal, I would now have to move that decimal to the left two units. So this would be 0 0.97. 0. Point, we put the 0 in front, so that's 0, 0.9. And then 1, 2, this would be 1.25. So we're either dividing by 100 or we're going to move... Two places to the left. I just did that because I ran out of room. Two places to the left. Let me see if this will work. If I can snap it to uh, group it. Uh -uh. Link it. Lock it. 
Log into this. There you go. Right. I see. Nope. It's not going to let me lock to the paper. Okay. All right, let's undo that. Lock in place, allow vertical movement, allow horizontal movement, allow movement. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if this works. Oh, still doesn't allow me to move it. I gotta figure out how to do this. All right, so for fraction, 2%, all right? The key to go from fraction to percent right here says numerator, divide, um, Divide by the denominator and then times 100. Okay, this is the way I have to do for this one. Uh, I'm going to do this. I know what I'll do. Gonna, hold on. I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. I'm going to copy this add this paste okay I'm gonna just do this I'll do one at a time that's what I'll do okay so since we're dividing the denominator, that means, it's a purple, no here. That means you take the top number, which is three. Why isn't it changing the font? We're gonna divide it by four. Then take that answer, because this turns out to be 0.75, and then take that answer and times it by 100 which is 75%. So top number divided by the bottom number. So this becomes, sorry, 2 divided by 5. That turns into 0.4. Then you just times that by 100. No, you just got to show the percent. Okay. So the notes or the steps, I'm trying to make sure they're in each pie piece here of what you have to do for each conversion. Okay. So fraction 2%, it says right here, numerator, which is top number, divided by bottom number, then times 100. All right, so for, I'm now going to percent to fraction right here. All right, remember you're designing. If you want to alternate your colors, you can. If you want to do one, you're creating your color scheme, your design. All right, okay. So if we're going to go from percent to fraction, basically, I'm going to just add a little note down here. Let's go purple. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little note. Just take the percent, the number that's in front of the percent sign. Take whatever your percent is and 
Take that number and you put it over 100. So it's the percent over 100 and then simplify. So this is 9%. This would be 9 over 100. I cannot simplify this. So this is the final answer. Mm -hmm. 97%. That becomes 97 over 100. Percent is a number out of 100. Yeah, but if it can be reduced, you have to reduce it. Like, so this one, you would do 125 over 100, like that, but that can be reduced. Like, if I go to my calculator, I would type in, like, a fraction, which is alpha y equals, enter, and then 125 is on the top, 100 is always going to be on the bottom. This reduces to uh, 5 fourths. Oh, wait a minute, because it's 125. Oh, that's more than 100. It's over 1,000. Sorry. Yeah, because uh, it's 100% plus 25%. Because 125%. Right? So if it's greater than 100, then it's 1,000. That's 1,000, yeah. Okay. It's 1,000. It's 1,000. Because we have more than 100%. Like, if it's bigger than 100... You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, it depends on how big over 100. Like if this was, if this was, uh, let's say 1,250, you would add another zero to it. So each time I go bigger than 100, I add a zero. Yeah. Okay. Do we have to turn this in? Yeah, we are gonna turn it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is one eight. Uh ten oh eight. All right, now Oh, what? You need to. Oh, I don't. Mm, I have to look. Hold on. Um, cause you need the. What's the what's the thing called? Yeah, the the prong thing. Okay. Um, what else do I want to make sure we do? Um, we did percent to fraction. We did fraction decimal. one. Did we do a fraction to percent? Did we do that one? Yeah. We yeah. Did we did all of them. Yeah. Okay. We have two Who are we missing? I'm sorry. I don't. I forgot. Which one did we not do? Um, decimal. Fraction to decimal. Oh, fraction to decimal. Okay, here we go. And what was the other one? Decimal to fraction. Yeah, zero point. Okay, decimal to fraction. Okay, so I'll do that. Decimal to fraction. Fraction to decimal. All right, decimal to fraction. Okay, so. To me, the easiest way to do this is put the digit, whatever digit's in your decimal, over the place value. Like, for example, this has two zeros behind the decimal, right? So this would be 6 over 100, two zeros. Again, this has two digits after the decimal, so that's two zeros. So this would be 48 over 100. Now this has three digits. So it's 0.123. I mean, one two five. that's three digits. So you have to put that over a thou three zeros. So that's up over 1,000. So make sure your place value matches 
the number of digits you have. Okay. So put the digits over the la the last place value. Do we have the ones on the side? Yeah, those are answers. You have to get the answers in the ones on the side. Look, so this one good. Look, this six over one hundred actually reduces to three fifths over fifty. This forty eight over a hundred actually reduces to twelve uh fifty. And then one twenty five over a thousand reduces to one eight. So you have to watch your place value. And then to do fraction to a decimal, it's right in here. Numerator divided by denominator. Okay. Numerator divided by denominator. So numerator is your top number. Numerator is the top number. Denominator is your bottom number. So this is 7 divided by 8. This comes out to be 0.875. You have to record all digits. Compass, compass. Yeah, this one don't have a thing. I have one over here because someone was using it. They were doing constructions with me. Let's not let's get one off of one of the desks and oh wait, let's see if it's one. Try that one. Okay. So here this would be four divided by five. Okay, which comes out to be point eight. But yeah, just go to your calculator and do four divided, oops, four divided by five. What happened to my, clear that, four divided by five. There's the decimal, okay. Is that all of them now? Yes. Okay, here's what you have inside your wheel your um mosaic on the side here let me see okay so i'm gonna just go back to here guys you see right here it says d to p up here so they want you to convert that decimal to the percent so if you see these arrows they want the answer to go in that box okay so if i'm doing decimal to percent i can just times by 100 so this answer here, if I do, or why is my pen erasing? There it goes. There it goes. This 0. 0.3004, if I times that by 100, I get 30.04%. Everywhere you see these arrows, like this one right here, 85%, they want that as a fraction. So to do the fraction, we take the percent and put it over 100. On this one, it's 100. So I go, I can do alpha y equals, enter, 85 is on top, 100 is on bottom. That reduces to 17 over 20. So look, guys, in, I'm checking your will, but I'm also checking that you have the right answers next to the problems. Okay. If I change five eighths to a decimal, how do I do that? I'm going from fraction to decimal. How? That's what I'm asking. Oh, you put five and you hit the division. So when you put eight, you hit enter. Yep, five division eight enter. So this. Mm -hmm. So that decimal is point six two five. So you have to put that here inside next, or the arrow is pointing in this box. 0 0.625. Are we okay on this, where the problems are? Does everyone see the problems around the circle? Yes. And then where to put your answer? Okay, so designs can vary. This is just an example. Okay. This is just an example. Okay. 
But I do want you to color your, you know, your mosaic around the circle. Okay. Make sure your answers are in there. What notes? I wrote those. I mean, it's up to you if you need them. Okay. All right. So I'll be checking the answers in each tile. That's what I'm going to check off. And then I'm going to check your design. All right. Okay. That's you, up for you to do. And then this goes into the tray when you're done. Um, Kelly, did you do all the problems around the circle? Does it have to be I mean, the more colorful, the better the grade. But I just need the key information. Yes, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. uh, 10 16. No, you can have you can you can turn it in tomorrow. The goal is today though. I want to see if you can get it today. Right. I would definitely make sure you get your problems done first. Right? Because I'm checking those right or wrong and then your design information. Oh yeah. I press one on the right here corner. Is that okay if you just put that instead of like throwing your one or something? The first one. Yeah. Yep, you know, yeah, I have the right answer. You have that 30.04. But like, what if you just put 30 percent? That would be wrong because that's not 30 percent. It's not going to be point something. A percent be point something because a percent is a part of a hundred. So, what if you don't have an egg like? A one whole part. I have a part of a part. So it is a point. <laughs> yeah. Well, you wouldn't put a marker over it. Like, if you have a marker, then I would highlight around. <laughs> Guys, if you have a marker, where's my paintbrush? There it is. Then just go around like that. Bold it. <laughs> but the problem and its answer should have the same color. Are y'all with me, guys? Problem and answer should have the same color. So here's the problem. This answer should have the same color. The problem and the answer should have the same color. The problem and its answer. Yeah. This is the problem. Here is where the answer should go. Problem and answer, yes, and then the inside, yeah. Yeah, look, 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 look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're done with your design, guys, this will go in the tray. I'll check it. What inside? Like the pie piece? No, are you talking about like the pie piece? Yeah. No, I don't. You don't necessarily have to do that. That's up to you. That's up to you. I'm just making sure answers and color match. All right.